Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Monday. Just wrote it down, February 24th, 2020. I hope you guys are all doing well and a welcome to all my friends. Um, I am so sorry I haven't been on lately, but um, I got some extra braces put on my mouth and so I really had no desire to talk to anyone, <laughs> so or let alone make a video. Anywho, I got lots of miscellaneous stuff today. I'm not gonna show any finished projects because I don't have any finished projects. <laughs> um, well, I do, but I've already given um, given it away. If you follow me on Instagram at Rose Likes Crochet, uh, I made a Cubs Chicago Cubs themed lovey and a blanket. And that has already been gifted, so I don't have it to show you. But uh, anyway, I'm working on a bunch of other stuff, uh, but nothing is finished. So, <laughs> so we are going to do a few things um, today. The first thing is going to be Happy Mail. So I have a Happy Mail here, and it does say private, and this is from my good friend Linda, so I am not going to open that up on camera. Um, I also have another Happy Mail from uh she's well known here on youtube she comments on everyone's videos and she's amazing her name is cindy and here is the card from cindy how adorable uh world needs more people like you the world needs more people as thoughtful as you for joy is a part of each nice thing you do the kindness you share brightens so many days thank you for all of your wonderful ways uh, and she just says that she uh, wishes me a uh, year filled with good health and fortune. Thank you so much, Cindy. You are adorable. Thank you. Okay. I also got a package here from Chiquita's Crochet. Now, um, I'm going to link her channel down below. Her name is Deb, and I actually just call her Chiquita Banana. So, what's up, Chiquita Banana? <laughs> um, I don't know what this is. She didn't tell me she was sending me anything, so we're going to see what it is. It's a birthday card. Oh, you are so sweet, Chiquita. Just says, wishing you all kinds of wonderful things, not just on your birthday, but always. And she just says something small. And look at this, you guys. She made me a pen. How pretty. Thank you so much. And then she sent these wooden, wooden wind chimes. And this is, oh, it says no drama llama. <laughs> this is adorable. And it comes with like paint. Okay, so I'm gonna give this to Carrots and see if she wants to paint that for me. <laughs> Chiquita, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So that's it for like happy, happy mail because this that's the best happy mail ever. I also wanted to show you guys that I did get my Leather yarn for the month. So um, I don't think a whole lot of people get this. So um, I'm gonna open it up and show you guys. So if you guys um, watch uh, Laura at Mad Mimi's Crochet, she actually gets the box. It's like a subscription box. It's almost like Knit Crate or um, Crochet Society where they get yarn, they get a pattern, they get a hook, like a really fancy hook. Um, but I didn't want to get all that stuff, so I just opted to get the yarn. So it comes wrapped like that. And let's see what it is for this month, because I don't think there's like previews or anything like that. This is a really small, like, um, like one person show that does this. So, oh, look at this, you guys. <laughs> oh, and it is, oh, it says it's bulky. Okay, so I'm reading the... The label is on the back here and it says the color name is Dream and it is a bulky yarn, 100% superwash merino, 106 yards and 100 grams. Wow, za Isn't that pretty? Look, there's some purple right there. It, I'm sold. <laughs> All right, and then they give you like a little booklet. I think the last month they only had like a postcard but here is a booklet. So if you guys want to go and join that um, and you only want the fancy yarn, I can't remember if it's $24.99. So it's about the cost of a really expensive hank of yarn <laughs> that you would find in your little yarn shop that you would not find in the big box stores. So there is Leather for the month. 
I'll show you guys again. It's nice, very nice. So that is uh, Lether for the month. And then I actually got something else uh, from a company called Teespring. So let me show you what I got. So Teespring is a company that will make t-shirts, tote bags, coffee mugs, basically anything that you can put your logo on or a photograph on, they can put it on there for you. And when I first realized I could do that, I actually made my own logo and I put it on t-shirts and tote bags. And um, you guys can go on my Teespring shop and look at all the stuff that you can get with the logo. Well, I decided that um, almost everything that I put, like my business cards and my thumbnails for everything, is the picture of one of my favorite shawls. So I went and designed another, I guess, I did another design on Teespring, and I got myself a tote bag. So here is the tote bag, and it's got a picture of my most favorite shawl that I ever did. It's a virus meets granny, and then it has Rose Likes Crochet on it. This is a nice canvas tote bag, and I honestly cannot remember what the cost is. <laughs> But I am going to leave a link in the description box below for you to go check out my Teespring. I think that there's like a small amount from each sale that I get, but I don't think anyone's bought anything yet. So I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know what like what the percentage is. But if you guys are interested, you can get this, I think, on a, mug, a coffee mug or a tote bag. And I think there's a t-shirt with this on it as well. So anyway, that was fun stuff. So now I have another um, project bag. All right, the last thing that I have to show you is, now this is from last year, April of last year, I started a crochet carousel. I got my list and the carousel went to many, many, many people, it went to almost 20 people. So I'm gonna just read you the list of names and I actually have a playlist on my channel that shows them opening up the crochet carousel boxes. So it went to uh, Becky at Funny Farm Crochet, Billy the Crafty Floridian, Carla Crochet CJ, Carrie Penny the Happy Crafty Homemaker, Debbie the Canadian Crotcheter, The Dabbling Hook, Hey Rel, Ella at No Catchy Name, Grace at GB Maltese, Jane at Scraptastic Yarns, Karen is Happiness is Homemade, Kayla Llama Mama Kayla, Lisa Happy to Hook Creations, Petra uh, from the, uh, it used to be called the Sosa Family, now it's called something else. Random Randy's Ramblings, Seta at Seta's Place, Summer at Summer's Tips and Stitches, Terry at the Yarn Joy Podcast, Zach at the Zach Stout Stitch Podcast, and Z at Zelda NRJ3. So it actually finally made its way back to me. Um, sometimes things happen in life and you just, things are delayed. So anyway, I finally got it back and I've actually had it for a little while, but I haven't had a chance to open it. So we're going to see what it is. The last person that actually had the box was Randy at Random Randy's, Random Randy's Ramblings. <laughs> hey, Randy. Okay. So this is not the size of the box that it started in, just so you know, it started in a much smaller box. So we are going to see the final and what is in the final crochet carousel box. Hang on. You guys, it is not supposed to have this many items in it. It is overflowing with goodies. Oh my gosh. Okay, are you guys ready? I'm not gonna tell you about the yarns unless they're really cool, but I got one of these in there. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I got, um, one of this purple yarn, I'll just show you, Plymouth Select. There's the label. <laughs> There's so much stuff, you guys. I got a bag with some Knit Picks yarn. There's so much yarn here, you guys. I got, um, looks like a Knit Crate of Vitalana. This is awesome. <laughs> I got a Premier Puzzle yarn which I have worked with this before. It's very nice. <laughs> I got two of these Loops and Threads Charismas. I got two of these Ice Yarns, uh, Baby Cotton. That's pretty. 
I got a book of knit baby afghans. How did you guys know I was trying to teach myself to knit? How cool is that? Okay, there's so much here, you guys. <laughs> I got uh, wool-like from Loops and Threads. Oh my gosh. Look, I got a Karen One Pounder in the color is lilac. <laughs> This is so cool. Okay, and then there is a bag of Ella Ray Cozy Soft Prints. I have never used that before. That is so cool. I have a Ziploc bag full of something. Let's see. Okay, it's got these two really pretty pins in it and some bear buttons. Oh my gosh. Oh, cute. <laughs> I've got a body lotion. That's awesome, purse size. You guys, I have another project bag. Check that out. And it's got a little doohickey on it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a llama. <gasps> this is so cool. Okay, that's huge, that's awesome. All right, and then I got, oh my gosh, there's more yarn. Southwick Valley Yarns. These three little blues. Oh my gosh, here's another project bag, you guys. It's a little tiny one. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Who are these children and why they keep calling me mom? <laughs> Do you guys see that? <laughs> okay, and the inside is like sparkly. I wonder if it says who made it because this is so cool. And let's see, oh, there's a, there's a hook in here. Oh, how cool is that? You guys, check that out. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, I don't see any labels in here, so I do not know who made it, but it's adorable. Okay, there's another project bag. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. Oh my God, this is so cool. This is so cool. All right, let's see. Oh, there's yarn in here. Okay, so there's ice yarns in here. Okay, so there's five of these little ice yarns and the color is called, oh, it's just a sail winter. Okay, and then um, I don't know who made this bag, but it's adorable. I love it. Now, you guys, not everything was meant for me. It was just stuff that was in the, the carousel box. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Okay, so in this Ziploc bag, I have one of these scissors. I have some tags that say handmade. Oh my goodness, buttons, a whole bag of buttons. Um, this little thing says Nifty Needle Case Pattern from Moogly. Check that out. Are there needles in here? Let's see. Oh my gosh, there's stitch markers in here. Look at that, you guys, and needles. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, who did that? Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Oh, and this one has another one of these scissors. Oh my gosh, you guys check these out. So cool. Okay, I need to know who made that. <laughs> out of all those people who I just listed, who made those needle cases? Because <laughs> they're awesome. Okay, so wrapped up in some bubble wrap are two more of these really cool hooks. Check those out, you guys. Those are so cool. Now, I prefer Susan Bates inline, so I don't know. I might just give these away in a giveaway, but these are so cool. Okay, so I guess keep your eye open for a giveaway. <laughs> All right, and then there's another little pack here. It says, little bag of Ami. All right, so there is like a bunch of, it even says noses, and here are black eyes, and here are four and a half millimeter somethings, <laughs> and here are brown eyes. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Okay, and then the last thing that was in the box was this humongous bag of teas, coffees, hot chocolate, sunny delight. <laughs> this is so cool. 
Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Um, for anyone who wants to go back and look at all of the other carousels, like I said, it is in the playlist called Carousels, and um, it was a lot of fun to do, but I had a great time doing this. Um, it was so fun organizing it, and I had, um, at the time, asked all my favorite people that I watched on YouTube to do it and they all said yes so it was really really exciting so some of the other things that are going on you guys is um, I don't know if you have heard but uh, Jackie at hooking in good company she was actually here in Chicago for a couple of weeks and I actually got to meet up with her a couple of times I had a great time with her um, we decided not to video except for that one time where um, and she posted this on her channel where she thought it was Thursday but it was Monday <laughs> It was really funny. Um, I'll put a link to that video in the description box below. But anyway, we decided not to videotape where we were at. I mean, we went out to eat, we went to chocolate stores, we went to yarn shops, we went like everywhere. And it was just so nice not to have to worry about recording um, and just enjoying each other. So um, Jackie, have a safe trip back home and I hope to see you when you come back. So go check out Jackie, Hooking in Good Company. She is amazing amazing okay so the other update that I want to tell you guys is um, for those of you who are new um, I am also doing a charity donation drive um, and I'm hoping to do it this whole year it is for a ch for a charity called wings w-i-n-g-s so please check out the last couple videos um, I do have a couple of packages here right now so I will be doing an update video in the next couple days and um, anything that you guys want to donate, uh, there is a list in the description box of the Wings videos of what they are looking for. And um, I will have another update on, I have a, an idea on for something for the summer because I know it's, they're not going to need hats and scarves, um, but I do have an idea for what we can do over the summer. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna talk about is the Block Party Cal, which is being hosted by Debbie the Canadian Crotcheter and Karen at Happiness is Homemade. And she is doing this, um, I'll link her video in the description box below, but she is doing some giveaways based on this Block Party Cal. Um, but she doesn't have a Facebook group, so she asked me if um, she would allow, if I would let her um, pull a winner from a from my Facebook group. So I want you guys, if you haven't already, go and join my Facebook group. You have to answer three questions in order to enter, and then you get accepted into the group, and then you can post all of your Block Party Cal photographs in there, and then she is going to let me know when we can pick a winner from the Facebook group. So that's really exciting. Okay, so the last thing, because I want to make this a quick video, uh, is there is a show coming up if you live in the Chicago area or surrounding close by areas. <laughs> there is a yarn event called Yarn Con. So yarn and then C-O-N. And I actually went to this last year. It is actually in Chicago. And I actually got to meet Holly from The Proper Pineapple. We had an amazing time with her. And I'm gonna be going again this year. I'm probably only gonna be going on that Sunday. So um, please let me know in the comment section below if you are able to attend and if you are able to attend on Sunday because I would really like to plan a meetup and meet a bunch of friends. I, I love making new friends. So again, that is called Yarn Con and it is the weekend of April 4th and 5th. Um, and we are almost at the end of February, so we only have a month to plan this out. So, um, all right, so that is it. Um, I will hopefully see you guys in a couple of days for a wings update. And uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, welcome friends. I love having you. Uh, remember, we have a Facebook group. I am on Instagram. I have an Etsy shop where I sell stitch markers. Um, and other crocheted items, which you guys can probably do yourself, but I do sell stitch markers. And a Facebook group, go and join. And let me know if you can come to YarnCon. And that is it, it's Monday. You guys have a great week. If it's not Monday because you're watching this on Tuesday or Wednesday, 
then happy Tuesday, happy Wednesday, whenever. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Have a great week. Bye.